Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Vainglory 5v5 rank with me, Rickless. On today's episode, we are finally doing the Ringo that I promised I was gonna do for the longest. I am sorry that I haven't been around. By the way, Happy New Year's since the last time I actually recorded anything was before New Year's. So anybody new, welcome, welcome. I am sorry that I'm not posting that often, but I'm gonna try to change that, you know? gonna going to start my new year's resolution two weeks after new year's actually started <laughs> but anyways hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day everybody's doing well hopefully everyone's having a great new year um and yeah let's hope we get a good mess over here so we are playing ringo i did play quite a few times if I'm kind of irritated that they ex extended the the, 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 the the season for another week. The reason why I'm irritated, if I would have known it was going to be extended for another week, I probably would have pushed harder to get to that VG Silver. But instead, I didn't play the cave, played a few, ti few times recently. So I did make up that elo. And nice, two tier 10 silvers, two other tier 10 bronzes. And it seems like there's, I think, two of the people from the enemy side should be also tier 10, if not three. Yeah, I, I don't know, but it, it looks like it's going to be good elo. So that's, that's, that's good. I'm hoping for at least seven, seven elo. So if you make it to Vainglorious, you should know that, um, well, tier 10, um, the elo system works differently. You don't get 15 or 20 elo per match. Typically, you get around 5 if you're versus uh, enemy people that are around the same tier. If you end up being paired against higher elo than you in tier 10, like let's say you're a tier 10 bronze, uh, a mid, mid elo tier 10 bronze while you're against a uh, tier 10 silver, there's a high chance you will be getting around the 7 or 8 elo. So good elo in that sense. But yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Nothing much else I can say. Did enjoy my little break. I'm not going to lie. Felt really nice. Pretty calm holiday season for me. I would say. Yup. So I still haven't changed my method of getting the regen. I typically get the little minion first. Just because I want to get rid of the damage that it does. <clears throat> and it's easier to get rid of. Very nice. Ah, uh, can't we shoot something? Okay, so we are up against a Malene. That's kind of going to be annoying. You know, we're we're actually gonna freeze the lane. Let let the the enemy minions move in a little bit towards my side. I don't want to overextend. Mal Malene has really good burst damage, especially if you ca she catches you with that root. Could be game over, especially if uh, enemy jungler ends up ganking. So I'm just gonna play safe. That's typically what I do. Ringo doesn't have the strongest early game. So playing a safe early game is probably probably the best way to play Ringo. <clears throat> Wait for that mid to late game. And that should be good. Even though I'm doing pretty good damage to the the Batiste. Whew. This is actually a little bit annoying though, having this many minions on my side though. When there's two enemy heroes. Okay, 
Not bad. Pretty much almost got all the minions, so that's good. We could port back, buy some extra damage. So we are going for uh, Sorry Bleed first. That's typically what I always do, just go for a straight up Sorry Bleed. Play pretty safe in the early game. And uh, yeah, I've been kind of testing builds around. I did think that Sorry Bleed, Bonesaw, Double Monocle was the best way to go but recently i've been going up against a lot of tanky heroes and even though it does good damage especially versus squishy heroes um it just wasn't working out that great towards the late game when there is a lot of tank on the enemy side what i felt is more consistent and still doing lots of good damage and sustaining a lot better is going uh sorrow blade poison shiv bone saw then a monocle plus a husk usually husk is my third item if i'm doing really well like way ahead of the enemy i would end up getting the 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 husk last and trying to get the four Four offensive items just to either cause pressure or absolutely destroy the enemy as quickly as possible. Oh, I can't. But that's only if I'm doing good and I'm working my positioning well. And they don't have crazy amount of crowd control. Because crowd control can really destroy you if you have no defense. By crowd control, I mean like stuns, silences, uh... In that nature, pretty much. Okay. They're warning me that they're, they they might sure potentially shot. gank. So let's just take this regen for now. Let the Malene push her waves slightly closer to my side. I don't really want to go over there. <laughs> it's still too early for me to even try to confront the Malin. Malin could still probably out damage me. Plus, I have a lot of gold that I should shop with before even confronting anyone. Allied hero killed. There is the Malene. Well, if it has to be done. Wait, let me take a good one. Okay, that was pretty even damage. She's most likely gonna be. There you go. To that shopping would be nice. I think I could afford the Sar Blade, or is it 2150? <laughs> it's 1950 when it's the heavy steel only, but I have six cents in the weapon blade. No, <laughs> instead of trying to make calculations in my head, I should have just um. Should have just gone a little bit forward to be able to A the use my A ability on the Malene. That would have gotten us a kill. Oh rip. Okay. So we're gonna be going for the poison shift second. You can go bone saw second. It, it'll probably do more damage but lately I've I personally feel more comfortable Whoops. with the poison shift just I'm because it, it sustains longer in lane Man, just to get me through the yeah. early game by the time I get the bone saw I will consider that mid game and that's when you actually 
could do pretty serious damage with both of those items. And we missing. He's probably just gonna shop and come back. He is. I have minions on my side. But I do not have flask. <laughs> but she doesn't know that. Uh, oh no. Oh no. I want to help. But if Malin comes. Oh, nope, 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 nope. <sighs> That's exactly what I wanted to avoid. No. No, Black Feather. Leave. Uh, he just wanted one kill. He just wanted one kill. He got hungry. <sighs> Rip. Okay. Yeah, Ringo's early game engagements aren't the greatest. You could kind of engage a little bit once you get your Star Blade, but that's only if you're kind of ahead. If you, if you're pl if you're playing at an equal well, level. Yes. To the enemy side, meaning that you, the only thing you have is the same amount of farm. There's a high chance you won't win, <laughs> depending on the enemy hero. If if it's another enemy hero that is also mid to late game, then yeah, maybe have a chance. <clears throat> Ooh, I just want to get this wave and I should probably leave. I saw Baptiste coming this way. Oh no! <laughs> I freaking said it. Oh my god. I am doing a great example of how strong Ringo is. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop doing those risky plays. Honestly, by risky I mean just overextending. Uh, now I'm probably gonna lose a turret. Goodbye turret. Yep, there it goes. I'm pretty sure Baptiste took the regen and he's probably gonna be working on oh he's not there that's surprising I'll take it just in case oh there he is I'll let him damage it hopefully I could last hit it he does have a storm crown yes <laughs> oh man run run Ooh, I don't think that crucible was necessary, but I do appreciate the effort from the captain for keeping me alive. This is a sure shot. Oh, that was scary. At least we got the we got the weapon buff. Wasted Batiste's uh, time, pretty much. While I got to benefit from 80 gold in the weapon buff. And there's a good amount of minions. Sweet. Thirsty work. I'm probably going to let them push a little bit towards my side. There's no point of me overextending. <sighs> the thing is that if I do this, Malin's going to have free range to help out her team. While I'm over here just wasting time. So, you know what? We're just going to clear them. We should be rotating. I, I can't afford just letting them uh, passively push towards my side. Since we are playing from behind, my allies could probably need my help. Oh no! Oh, why is she so strong? Run, Ringo! We got the poison shiv. But I'm not happy. <laughs> no, don't give up! God. I mean, I meant to put don't give up. <laughs> At least a black feather doesn't want to give up. That's good. But I don't like it when the when my allies start losing hope. It, it just... Instead of playing their best, they just don't play the best. When they start wanting to give up. So we are going for a bone saw. 
as soon as we get the bone saw, we're probably gonna work on the husk. Just because we are playing from behind. Like I said, I I would go for four offensive items first. Only and only if I'm ahead. If I'm playing from behind, at most I'll go three offensive items, then a de defensive item. Heck, there's even times where I'll go two offensive items, like right now, and go towards uh uh, uh defense, which would be a husk for Ringo. But I'm not gonna do that. I just gotta play safe. Can't be doing crazy overextended stuff anymore. I shouldn't. But I am willing to fight this Malene since she's by herself and I have my whole team. Oh, that's not gonna kill her. RIP! That vision. Ooh, turret's pretty low. Let's just get that. And let's get out of here. You know, I wanted those 300 gold. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty nice. We, we need any gold we could get. I'm sorry, allies. I know me being greedy, I took it for myself. But I hope I could bring it towards the late game. I'm all about the late game, especially when I record, because I. I I'm gonna be honest, I kind of suck when I'm recording, I, I get too distracted, I talk too much, I don't play my best. <laughs> uh, and late game is when I could just focus on fighting, you know, do some crazy stuff. Enemy missing. Let's go see if the regen is available. Enemy hero killed. Okay, let's go rotate. Let's get rid of that vision. Let's push a few of these minions. Just so that the enemy will have something to worry about. And let's go... Ooh, I guess the fight is already over! <laughs> uh, let's see, what are they doing? You know what, let's just, let's just get out of here. Oh no. We got one kill. I think that kind of benefits me more. Since I did get 300 gold and I'm pretty sure I was worth only like 25 or 50. Ugh, but my allies are now... We got a kill. hero killed. We got two kills, they got three, but we're probably worth not much. Ooh, they're about to get four though. Rip. And he's about to die. You know what, let's just go to our jungle. Actually, <laughs> we need to do the, the minion wave. One and four. I have to hand it to myself. <laughs> uh, am I gonna be able to go positive? I hope so. Enough for the bone saw. By the way, the gun. Rip. Let's just pour back. We want to get our items, get the bone saw, start working towards our husk, and we'll be golden, you know? Ooh, let's go help out over here. Oh, that. Some nasty damage. Ooh, 
we're about to get into a fight. At least I got a kill. It's another 200 and something bucks. Gold. At least we're starting to get some kills. It looks like our damage is building up. <laughs> Let's just stay positive, okay? Let's just stay positive. Can't get any worse. Okay, it could get a lot worse because the enemy is just slowly starting, still snowballing us. Ooh, nice! Ooh, that was a nice stun. Nice kill. Sweet. That actually was really good. With the bait from the Lorelei. Mm, surprised that I have the most gold from our side. Let's get this. Let's get rid of these minions. I don't really want to chase that. I'll help him a little bit and then I'm gonna pour home and just get my husk. Gotta get my defense, you know? My only defense that I'm gonna get for the game, for the match. And then we'll start working on Monocle. Uh, we'll start with the Lucky, the, the crit side first, since Lucky Charm is more expensive than 6 cents. Nice, nice. Good damage. Building up. One kill. Nice. Ooh -wee. Nice. Triple kill. And we're already positive, just like that. That's very nice. We got an ace, actually. That's that's actually really good. And then now we're gonna get another 250 gold from this. <laughs> Dang, that that this probably turned the game completely around. Okay, so let's get our lucky charm. I mean lucky strike and weapon infuse. Get this. Gonna bit and I'm gonna admit, did not expect this turnaround. I think that should help us be kinda leveled to the enemy. Noise. We are infused. We are ready to fight. Let's just get these Halcyon Chargers. Ooh, that's some, some good damage. <laughs> Is he gonna die? I don't know. Is he? There we go. There we go. Very nice. We got that kill. Get that kill from the bat on the Batiste. With the ulti. What is this Rona doing? Okay, easy pickings. Or not. <laughs> Let's get this weapon buff. Uh, I should have probably attacked the uh, Lyra. We got that. We out damaged the Malene. Sweet. Nice. Okay, lag. <laughs> so yeah, completely turned around just with that one fight. This is why you never should give up. You get one lucky team fight, get a bunch of bounty gold and it turns around. It could be anybody's game. Honestly. <laughs> Damn, the Rona didn't. That was a lot of damage. Okay, so let's go do the minions down there.
We could get our Tyrant's Monocle. And once we get these minions, we should be able to re-infuse. Noise. Oh man, hopefully they don't really fight right away. I I want to get this weapon buff, then I'll reinfuse, and then okay, cool, cool. It doesn't look like they're engaging so far. They're just kind of staying on their side. Okay, good, good. I am ready. I have a full build, ready to destroy enemies running away. <laughs> Avoided that. Oh, the damage. Okay, I should I shouldn't be this forward. I'm getting a little too excited, you know? <laughs> Gotta work on my positioning right now. This is a mm. sure shot. We're using the flask early before we end up forgetting to use it. Okay, you know what they're fighting? Let's come from behind. One down. Two down. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Three. Second triple of the game. Okay, whatever. Well, Runner probably saw me. Let's see. Let's see, boy. Ah, whatever. Sprint it out. Let's do this dragon. And Catherine isn't doing anything. I wonder why. Let's clear this wave. Because most likely we are going to engage into another fight soon. Since we do have Ghostwing buff. We could probably force the other dragon at this point. <clears throat> Wait, I see three of them. Nah, I shoot all three. What, over there? Are you sure? We're gonna reinfuse just in case we don't want it to run out at, at, at the middle of a team fight. Look at those chunks! Wow! And she's a captain with bunch of health and defense. Okay. Looks like the enemy is pretty not feeling confident. Wow, they didn't even they didn't even contest this dragon. What the heck? Captain very forward. Ooh, nice. One kill. Two kills. Dang, he absolutely got shredded. I three shot at him with my A ability active. Wow. Nice. Third triple of the game of the game. Sweet. That is it. Look at that. Wow. Three triples in one game. Kind of sucks that we weren't able to get the quadra kill, but look at 14 kills, 5-3. So that's very nice. Oh yes. So we, we actually took half of the kills of the game. <laughs> I was worth a thousand bounty, enemy 18 and a half K gold while the enemy was the highest was 16 to yeah we we completely took over we were heading towards that 10k lead that's actually insane and to say how bad we started in the beginning I was one five was I one five no I was, I was one four one at one point then I did become three two five I think hmm I don't remember no! I meant to press the build gameplay ooh a elo nice Arrgh! I was like I was trying to remember what else do I need to do I, I was I was supposed to show the builds uh, whatever I'm sorry about that I had a brain fart. It's been two weeks since I recorded. 
Uh, I constantly press the, the score, so you could probably go back on the video, look at the builds somehow. And yeah, well, the build that I went for this match was obviously the uh, boots, Halcyon Chargers, uh, Star Blade, Poison Shift, Bone Saw. Then I got my defense, which was a husk. Then I ended with a monocle. And obviously infused whenever I felt like there was going to be a lot of team fights. But yeah, that build got me 14 kills, 5 deaths, which four, five, all those 5 happened when I only had 1 kill. Meaning I literally got what? I, I don't know, 10 plus kills with 1 life. So it's all good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, feels good to be back. I am sorry for the the long delay, the long away the video. I do apologize, but you guys are freaking awesome if you made it this far. If you're still sticking around, absolutely love you guys. Hope that everybody had a wonderful year last year, and let's hope for a newer, newer, a better 2020 year for Vainglory, and I guess more content from me. Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe I'll get tired. Who knows? But please make sure to subscribe. Leave a like so I can feel better, and I'll, I'll definitely stick around. Anyways, that'll be it. Love you guys. Hope to see you on the next one. Later.